Hey everybody, it's me, Diogen Z, and this guy. Yep. The Blob's uncle, I presume. Or just the nutty professor that needs to be in all games. Like Prof Elm was in Crystal. This dude helps you out. Tells you where to get your starter paint. Go to AC more. Choose out your blend. And then you're good to go. And oh no. I think... I didn't have enough paint. I knew it. Uh, that was a bad idea. So, yeah. Turn off those spikes. Before you take on... Filling up that paint. Ah, damn. Get off. No! Smash, smash. Annoying paint bug bots. They're like little spiders that absorb your... Your power, your energy, your aura. It's all gone. After they get a hold of you. Yeah, so you want to be a hundred paint, specifically a hundred paint, if you propose to take the method that I just failed to do. So I don't recommend it. Nope. The much better way would be if we just push that button right here. Aha, but be careful. It's a trap! So there's a cost and benefit to doing everything in life, right? So if you don't have to land on the spikes because you have exactly 100 paint, you won't have to spring that trap, deal with all these ink bots, or have spikes around you to run into when you're taking on these bots. I don't know if they still would have showed up if we didn't press that button. Damn it! Get the hell off of me. I really wonder what happens if they get a full paint thing, like if they'll turn into a regular paint bot and then respawn with your paint. I don't think they could respawn. I think when they're destroyed, they're destroyed, but I know their other paint bot brethren will do that. Otherwise, this game would be very short. Dead blob. Not enough paint. The end. Ah, running on a treadmill, dodging the boxes. Not even running, I'm just blobbing along. Blobbing, blob, blob, blobbing along. Blob, 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 blobbing along. And apparently the game liked my singing because it gave us a new challenge. Not really. We completed one challenge, so we get another. That's kind of how this game works. Take one challenge, it leads to the next challenge, and hopefully it's linear in its pathway so that it leads you directly to where that other challenge is. Unless you're the crafty types, and you like to search far and wide to find your challenges. The challenge itself is not a challenge. To you, you need a challenge to get to the challenge. And see? Very polite turrets. Although they are a-holes in firing their lobbed ink lobs at Deb Lob, I appreciate that they stop their punishment when we're in the portal. And new challenges! They're always appearing! Uh, and that's good. You know, that, that's, that's, the, that's the point of the game. You want to do as many challenges as possible. Get as many points as you can. And it's kind of like an arcade game in that sense. Because you can, well, only verse your own score. So, you know, it's not like you're having your friends come over to play the blob and try to beat your score. Although, I do believe... Blob has a two-player mode. I think it's a multiplayer mode specifically to painting the town whatever colors you want to paint. Although it might be... No, actually that's not it. You, you challenge your friend and whoever can paint more quicker. And of course you can paint over their stuff and they can paint over your stuff. Then that's how that works. So, let's get back to this guy. And take him out in one shot. That was perfect. Beautiful, beautiful performance, Blob. I couldn't be happier. And what would you like to paint today? Ah, these things. That's pretty cool. I was hoping we would get to platform up them. See, I really like the mechanics that Blob has in the ways that when he has less paint, he's quicker. You have to be more careful on precarious peaks such as this. There's only a precious amount of space in between you and death. Just 
falling straight off the platform. I like that mechanic. It would be so much better suited with a proper jump, though. I need to have that A button jump. And to be all I think, it may have appeared in the second game. That is still to be determined. I cannot say yay or nay either way. I have not played it yet. But I will one day. One day. In front of you? I don't know. Maybe I don't want to play it in front of you. Maybe you make me nervous. The other guys, eh, they're alright. You know, they're, they're cool. They don't have a, a really cynical gaze like you do. So, I don't mind doing it in front of them. But you! I'm just kidding. I don't know if I will LP that game, but it would be interesting to compare. Blob and Blob 2. Does it get better or worse? And here we go. Maybe completing another challenge. I don't know. Nope, but we were led to a monument. So I guess that matters pretty well. And a transform engine emerged because we painted all those tube monorail systems. Tuba rail systems. It's tubular, dude. And remember, target your paint. Don't take any chances in these spiked areas. Target the next point of where you're going to be. All right, let's free them. We're going to shut them down. Shut them, shut them down. With red paint. It's the best way to do it. Get a riot going. Paint everything red. Like I said, it is... Ow! Ow! Yeah, how about this? That's that's a much better way of getting around, other than lobbing myself onto spikes. Oh, uh, but we still need a little bit more red. A little bit. Oh, I don't want to die. Uh, I don't want to die. Swift move, blob dude. That's nice that they put red in our path for us to smash. We can even smash an orange. Why not? Smash an orange. Man, that'd get messy. Pulp would be everywhere. Peels going all over the place. Not as fun a time as you could have here. In the fun park! Yeah! It's looking more fun by the day! Looking more fun by the brush stroke. Or blob stroke, really. That's, that's the more appropriate way to say it because he's not really using any paintbrushes. Transform move, but he is morphing everything with his blobular body. It's a new style of painting. Blob. Yeah, I heard you took up water paint. Uh, no, I, I'm not uh, doing water painting. And, uh, no, no, this is not acrylics either. This new style called blob. You know, you just throw blobs of paint at uh, buildings and people and picture billboards. You know, already established billboards. I'm not talking make your own billboards. I'm saying go find a Home Depot billboard and show them what a true home improvement looks like by throwing blobs of paint at their poster. That's that's blobbing. Would you like to join me in, in my blobbing endeavors? I was thinking about throwing some red paint on some cop cars to see what happens. I think the sirens will go off if I blob them. Yeah, you do that. I, I thought you were doing water painting. You know, it's that's it's all right, man. You you go blob all you want. No, it's just pronounced blob. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, I couldn't do this in real life. Again, a reason why video games is superior. No, it's not superior to real life. It's just a different uh, it's a different version of real life that you can access by playing real life. You have to have real life before you can have video game life. I don't know any zombies who are trying to play uh, the other side of Call of Duty whenever they have zombies involved. They've done that, right? That seems like too obvious an FPS shooter storyline to have not been done by Call of Duty. But yeah, you don't see them trying to fight for Team Zombie. You don't see the Zombies and Plants game, other side of the coin, dead people rising up to uh, aid their zombie brethren in taking over the, the pumpkin patch. No, it doesn't happen. You need life before you can have virtual life. And it's cool because, you know what? Ah, I figured it out. I have to actually just go after the gradients. 
I always end up failing those challenges because, again, I just am too busy blabbing, so I can't always read all the time simultaneously while talking because then I'm going to just talk what I'm reading and I don't necessarily want to do that. And what I am reading is not always that entertaining. Awesome, we already unlocked the end gate. That's good. Maybe this level will be quicker than the last. We shall see. Still might have some more painting to do here, but those, those are the only challenges I really ever have to fail just because of my lack of paying attention is the ones that have us free gradients. Because I go around freeing those little guys when I see them. When I take the paint girl's challenge, green paint girl's challenge, I always think she wants me to paint some building or teacups or ships or something with color. Whoa, don't fall. Don't fall. We may actually just hit the enter gate so we can open up the next area. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, wow, we're at this place already. You know, I haven't played De Blob in a while, but I, I do remember this area. This area of the Thumb Park. Yeah, it's the last. At last, as the Blue Blob guy said, the Blue Blob on crack, on speed, on meth, maybe a combo of all three, who knows. Yeah, this is uh, where we'll face the Whirlabird. Not such a fun ride when you're strapped into your back having all the ink rushed out of you. And what is that ink? What is that residue? Is that just like the poop and piss sludge from the from Gradians because they're locked in those eggshells and the ink corporation doesn't care about bathroom time, they just want them to constantly work at their desk? So it's like a self-processing toilet uses their filth to make ink? That would describe why it's so wretched for the blob to fall into, and why it's not more something of the consistency of chocolate coffee syrup. Mmm. Chocolate coffee syrup. Mmm, I hope to have cheesecake today in the cafeteria. I don't know if they will. And that's completely different than chocolate and coffee and syrup, but who cares? I love sweets. All kinds of sweets. And if the blob was like a giant blob of pudding, and we were running around Cake World, and the idea was to make everything re-desertitized. Oh, make that the third game in De Blob's trilogy, please. Make that the end game. De Blob turns into Cake Blob. I mean, Kirby turned into yarn. Why can't Blob turn into cake or pudding? Or ice cream. Oh, summer's coming up. And even though we just had snow yesterday, here in Colorado and recording this, it's May 2nd, so May 1st, we had freaking snowfall. I'm not used to it yet. I'm really not. But uh, if that was, you know, if, if that was real summer on the way, you'd want the blob to be an ice cream blob. Absolutely. Look, he's big, he's bulging, he's patting his belly, he's like, mmm, ice cream. I could think about eating some ice cream right now. That's what he's thinking. He's like, yeah, if I was made of ice cream, man, I'd be just... I don't even know if I would reconstitute the ice cream towers and the uh, the graham cracker staircases. I think I would just sit eating myself all day. All day and night. Ice cream's all right in my belly because I'm made of it. So I'm chilly. All right. Um, I just messed up purple, but I fixed it. How you like that? Real quick fix. Do a nice wrist flip. Do a wrist flip 360, man! And your Wii will do a barrel roll. That's so cool that Google still does a barrel roll. <laughs> it's like the ultimate sign off to Nintendo being the best gaming company. And I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna get fanboy a stick on you. But just saying, if it wasn't for Nintendo and Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, really coming in at a time when video games were not being valued for quality, just quantity. I don't think the industry would be where it is today. I really don't. I think you need Super Mario Bros. first. And you need Miyamoto with his crazy mushroom-induced ideas to come along before, uh, you know, anything good. Breaking the science. Anything good. Anything good could uh, delineate from that. Oh, this is a top-tier challenge. So tough that I failed it the first time. So, jump cuts. Don't you love it? I do. Saves us the time because it's already gonna go over 15. 
Hope you don't mind, guys. Today's gonna be a longer episode. Yay! I hope. I hope you're saying yay. If you're not, you're saying nay. Oh. I don't know what I'll do. I was disappointed. And I might stop painting. I might go on to uh, cooking. Yeah. That idea of, of being a cake blob or a chocolate pudding blob really uh, got me thinking. Perhaps arts and crafts via video games is not the way for me, but it's cooking food. Making all the sweets I can ever eat all the time because I made them so I can eat them. And it's better, I think, than having my whole body made out of sweets because it's kind of like the snake eating its own tail. When does it start and where does it end? It really doesn't. I'm just like, reprocessing myself. And after a while, I think I'd get tired of whatever flavor I would be. I'd want to change it up one day. Go to a lab. Yeah, those pushy things, don't be impatient. That's... No! Damn it! That's what got me before. And not even that. Not even that stupid just falling off the freaking platform just blatantly like that. Not even pushed. I was pushed by one of these pistons off of the platform. And that makes more sense for a death. But I just fell the freak off. Fantastic. Fan Whoa. Fantastic, Blob. Stay on. Oh, see, okay. All right. It's very hard to get that camera angle there to notice that there's actually a corner there not filled in with pipes. And uh, I almost lost my nunchuck there. And now, it's a fun machine! And you aren't ratcheting into your backs to be drained of your bodily fluids. It's just fun for the kids. And vomiting. Lots and lots of vomiting. So I guess some bodily fluid harvesting, but not like, you know, shit and piss to fuel the Inked Corporation society. You know, it's just, it just happens. You upchuck a meal. You upchuck a kiss. So now I think we can go to the end gate. There's this tanker sitting here that I never noticed before. And I'm kind of disappointed because that would have made this challenge so much easier if I was invincible the whole time, had unlimited paint, and could go straight to the portals. So, pro tip for you. Learn from my mistakes and, uh, you know, use that tanker to your advantage. Use it, take the challenge, and fill the whirlybird! Not these stupid teacups. Fuck the teacups. Fuck your teacups. Who's counting on me? What happened? Who's ca- One more is left. I'm guessing it's a, a gradient. Damn it. Why? No! Come on. They don't give you any time for this challenge because it's a really simple one that I just completely messed up. Uh, let me out of here. Oh, great. I don't want to go all the way around. Let me just, let me hop up. Come on, man. Come on. No! Okay. We're good. I just want to complete that last challenge because it was right there and the end gate's right here. So that's a wrap, folks. Hope you enjoyed the extra long episode today. I had fun playing it and it was cool liberating the fun park. So park it for the next episode. Nah, don't park it. You could probably go do other things now because staring at a blank YouTube channel is boring unless you go watch other videos of mine, in which case I recommend it highly. See you in the future.